Okay, let's try this again. Um, hi out there. I'm sorry that I didn't do uh, anything, like any becoming untethered on, or untethered Fridays on Friday. It's been a little while since I've done a video, so uh, I apologize for that. And again, I just want to go over the purpose of me doing these videos, which is that um, I'm reaching out to people who, you know, whether or not they have a mood disorder like me, uh, it would benefit by seeing that you can react to your thoughts and emotions in a different way. That there is a choice about how you handle things in your life <laughs> and while I'm no expert on handling things in my life I have gotten better at it <laughs> so we're you know it's, it's progress not perfection um, so as you may or may not know I am currently living at my parents house after a series of events that uh, resulted in me having to leave Boston um, for the apartment that I was in Boston and uh, since I didn't really have any funds to move okay. since I didn't really have the funds to go anywhere I'm out at my parents and so what I'm doing right now is I am putting together some money and my intention is to buy a multifamily so that I can live there and the other people can pay the mortgage <laughs> it's, that's the goal um, for the time being, I am just, you know, working on getting a couple of the books uh, finished for the, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm distracted, uh, for Jen's pen for my, for my company. Um, a lot of things are kind of going on that, that are making me nervous. <laughs> But um, the point that I'm here to talk about right now is surrender. Um, I have not been surrendering as much as I would have hoped, or I hadn't been, but I've been thinking about it a lot lately, and it's been happening incrementally. Um, but the, the, the thing is, if we want to enjoy our lives, we can't wait for life to be what we want it to be in order to enjoy it, because it's never going to happen life is what it is and it honestly has nothing to do with us and if we can't enjoy reality then we have an issue and that's that's been an issue for, for me for a very long time um, so I'm working on right now I'm working on accepting where I am um, and being grateful for everything because there are there is a lot to be grateful for um, and not to focus on the things that make me nervous or stressed. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, work with the energies that are still kind of clinging to my body and that's a whole long series that I should probably like roll into one video at some point to explain, but there are these energies that I've been getting out of my body since uh, in a, there was a, an incident in October where I, um, I had a breakthrough. <laughs> And I, just, I was able to start getting rid of, it was a culmination of a lot of things, uh, get rid of the, the, some scars. The way I'm looking at it is that it's, it's a bunch of some scars that uh, they just, there were just too many of them at, at a certain point. And I, I was, there wasn't enough room left for me. <laughs> um, so I need to take a left but I don't like taking lefts when I can't see the cards that are coming on, so we'll take a left here. Yeah, I am working on acceptance and surrender and just being like, okay, this is just what reality is and I can love myself even though that's what it is. <laughs> I can love myself and be kind to myself and good to myself. Um, and the, it keeps going around and around. Um, 
the gym is busy today. Uh, but basically like working on, there's a space, um, I think, okay. And we are parked. Okay. So yeah, so, um, so working on that on, um, I really think that this is a good, a good opportunity to learn, to be happy where I am. Um, and just to be happy with life in general and to accept things and surrender to things and to love and accept myself. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now. <laughs> and one of the things that that involves, I've been moping, I've been moping around a bit. I, I will admit I have been moping. <laughs> I have been moping. Um, I've been thinking about like, oh, I gotta, you know, I gotta do this for myself. I gotta do that for myself, but I haven't been doing it. And, um, and finally I, I, I thought enough about it that it, you know, it was bothering me enough that I'm actually doing something about it now. So I'm actually going to the gym. Um, which I haven't done in a while because of a lot of other things, but I'm going to go do it now. And I will say thank you guys. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to go to the gym. I'm grateful that I have the gym. I'm grateful that I have a place to stay. I'm grateful that I have you guys. I am grateful for everything. So I'm grateful for even the situation that I'm in because it is giving me the opportunity to learn and to grow. Um, so I'm going to remind you guys that even if you're staying at your parents, <laughs> You're in your mid-40s and you're not that happy about it, you can't always choose to have a grateful day. <laughs>